Hi there, welcome to my channel where I feature sometimes tiny, sometimes wacky, but always unique home tours. And in today's video, we're featuring a home that completely blew me away when I saw it, and it's probably because it's a theme that is very close to my heart. Or should I say stomach? One day I was sitting at a local restaurant chain having like a Caesar chicken salad, which doesn't have any sweets on it at all. I started to think, what would it be like to live in a candy store? What would it be like to have ball pits and lollipop rooms and clouds of cotton candy literally floating on the ceiling? And it's kind of like one thing just leads to the next. That's right, this home is a dessert themed home and the owner went completely over the top with it. Hi, gingerbread man. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. <sighs> We're now stepping out to the world's only standing ice cream cone pool. And while this home is a little different than any we've ever featured on this channel before, it turned out to be one of the most fun and wackiest tours we've ever done. So I just had to show it to you. And if you like videos like this where we feature fun and unique home tours, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. My name is Andrew and I own some outrageous homes. This one we're at is called The Sweet Escape. This ain't no cookie cutter Airbnb. There's a ball pit bedroom with thousands of balls, a custom built human Candyland game. We have the Brick of Chocolate movie theater. There's a 1400 square foot karaoke nightclub with disco lighting. There's a chocolate covered Hershey spa room and the world's only ice cream cone pool where the hot tub is literally a cherry on top. I really enjoyed making cool, fun rooms and vacations to me are like the most important thing in life, like vacations and experiences with the family. For me, these are passion projects first, money second. Once I get these ideas, I have to make them happen. Straight out of college, I knew that I wanted to work for myself. I wanted to just make enough money so that I never had to worry about money. And I knew that by the time I turned 28, I wanted to retire, move to Florida near the theme parks and have kids and be able to be home and raise them and be with them all the time. So I try to cram about 20 years of work into six and a half years, working as much as 125 hours per week from like a two bedroom condo in New Jersey on the internet. I hit my goal, I retired, I moved to Florida, I had two beautiful kids, lost like more than two thirds of my money, and I had to decide what I was gonna do to stay where I live. So we bought an existing home, we remodeled it, we added bedrooms in the guest house that weren't there before, we built the ice cream cone pool from scratch, and we created the sweet escape. Every room is an immersive candy and gaming experience. Come on in. So this is the old candy shop living room. Now of course when you stay at a luxury Airbnb vacation home like this, everything is included. All the games are included, the arcades and so forth. Check out our newest room that we just designed. It's like immersing yourself in a candy store. It's called the deserted room with two S's. Get it? Come on in. Here you can literally sleep under giant chocolate bars surrounded by columns of thousands of dollars worth of real sugary candy. And this room just became so immersive and so luxurious yet candy-like that it definitely became my favorite. We're now stepping out to the world's only standing ice cream cone pool. Hershey syrup makes this slide slick so you can go down Nestle's quick and then you land over there near the eight foot section of the ice cream cone portion of the pool. The kiddie pool is the vanilla ice cream and the cherry on top is the hot tub. We have a drop down movie screen over here so you can sit in the hot tub or the ice cream pool and watch movies at night. 
We're now entering the Cotton Candy Suite. Suite spelled S-W-E-E-T with an actual carnival booth where you can play romantic carnival games on your date here. Here we had built a real hardcore actual carnival booth where you can either play tip the trolls, cover the spot, or spill the milk. You can literally grab the bags, pick where your starting line is, stand back here, and try to win a prize. Here we have the never-ending sweet tooth battle of Coke versus Pepsi. Everybody has a favorite. Personally, I'm all for Coke Zero, but I'm not sure which bedroom I like more. We'll start here in the Coca-Cola room, where we have advertisements from all the decades all about Coca-Cola. And we also have the Coke ring toss game you can play. In every closet, we have sort of weird tributes and closet jokes called my get it jokes. This one is don't keep it bottled up inside and also a can of Diet Coke painted. This is the Pepsi Pinball Diner. We try to make it so in every room you have one game or attraction, something to fight over to say, I want that room because in this case, it's partly due to this old diner-esque pinball machine. And then you have a diner scene painted on the wall around you to bring you back into the days when it was cool to sit in like a diner, put two straws into a milkshake and have a Pepsi with eggnog or something like that. We have old school 1980s Pepsi. We have all the Pepsi slogans. When you check in, we're playing old TV commercials from every decade of Pepsi on TV. And you have another nice king size bed. Our silly goofy closet jokes continue into the closet here. Half of the people get this one, especially if they're from the 1980s or before. But uh, in the 80s, Michael Jackson was doing a Pepsi commercial and his hair caught on fire, but it's kind of common knowledge, so we put the fire extinguisher there. Kind of closet secrets of the Pepsi Cola company. Okay, we're entering the Ice Cream Social Karaoke Nightclub. This is 1,400 square feet with arcade games, a DJ booth, and at night, this turns into a real nightclub. Having this kind of skill, yo, it really comes in handy. Sitting here, rhyming at a house full of candy. Looking at the wall, and I see an ice cream banner. Well, I'm just rapping, yo, I'm chilling for your camera. The aliens have invaded the Chocostroid belt and they want all of our Milky Way bars. It's your job to choose a team, either the alien side or the earthlings. You grab a laser tag gun from behind this door and you battle it out for 15 points in an epic laser tag race. Over here you can actually slide down this bunk bed. There's a slide on this side. Even the blinds are themed, like right now, the blinds are space. But if you pull this lever, you go into hyperspace. And our silly, goofy closet jokes continue here with Starburst. Get it? After playing laser tag, it's pretty cool to kick back in this movie theater. We have all the streaming apps. We also have about 120 DVDs and Blu-rays here. Right now, I got some Oompa Loompas on the screen, so I think this is an appropriate place to check out. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Here we got the lollipop ball pit bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. There are thousands of balls in this room and there's games to play too. This Candyland bathroom addresses virtually all of the key lore, including the princess. We have Candyland boards on the ceiling and we've created our own Candyland fantasy fairy tale scene. Hi, gingerbread man. <laughs> After all this partying and fun, you're gonna wanna relax. So what would we be without a spa, a chocolate covered spa? Based largely on Hershey's chocolates that everyone loves, you out there can't smell this, but the room actually is sprayed to smell like chocolate covered strawberries, unless you request otherwise. We've got a massage table. We've got massage chairs here and massage chairs just outside of the room. We also have a one to two person sauna inside as well. And we'll often be playing spa music as you check in. So this is a really luxurious, relaxing escape from it all here at the Sweet Escape. 
Right behind the main house in the ice cream pool, we have a host of attractions. Right here, this is the Human Candyland game, which, by the way, surrounds Candyland Sugar Mini Golf. Here we have four holes of mini golf, each one with a different candy-related theme. In the middle, we have a campfire. Over there, you actually have the Life Savers-themed tire swings. You have sports, you got volleyball, a basketball hoop, tetherball, checkers, and chess. This box of chocolates here is the guest house. This one has four more bedrooms, bathrooms, the bubblegum arcade lounge with jukebox, whack-a-mole, and more, and also the mystery of the serial killer, an escape room-inspired murder mystery in which you have to become detectives and figure out who killed Cookie Crisp. As we go up the stairs, you're going to be entering the serial killer kitchen. Cookie Crisp is dead. Our job is to figure out who killed him. We have this Android tablet here with a custom app that's going to give you your detective missions, play a video, and get you through the game. As you look through the cabinets and in different places, you're going to find things that are locked, things to weigh, things to move around, and hopefully this app and your skills as a detective will guide you to figure out who killed him so you can bring justice to his family and maybe they won't have to cry over his spilled milk for as long. As we leave the serial killer kitchen, to my left is the M&M Mania Room. On the closet we have M&M made out of M&Ms. We have M&Ms everywhere. There's M&M board games. There's the M&M lamp where part of your mission is to figure out how many M&Ms are in the lamp. And finally, we have the Hershey Kisses Balcony Suite. Yet another king size bed with its own ensuite bathroom and a balcony overlooking everything. Okay, relax. But I'm nervous. How passionate am I after that tour? Has it made me sweeter? Oh, 30. I got sexy. If I was traveling to Orlando, Florida, I'd be going to theme parks. But so many people tell us that they come to this house, the Sweet Escape, and they don't leave during their three to seven night stay here. They do nothing else. Their whole vacation is their experience at the house that we've created, and that like blows me away, and I love hearing that. Now, you can have a maximum of 52 people sleep here. If you break it down at 52 people, it's as little as 35 to 40 bucks per person per night. It works out cheaper than most Airbnbs, most hotels, and you get so much more. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe because we will be featuring another one of Andrew's eccentric homes on this channel very soon.